Okay guys, how's it going today? SoCal here, going to be doing a video on installing one of these uh, Sadlac, or Sadlac, I'm not sure the pronunciation, uh, rifle scope mount on this M1A. Let's get to it. Hmm? First thing we're going to do, uh, move all of our parts out of the way here. We're going to need a punch. Uh, this is a 564th punch. 16th would probably work as well. First thing we're going to do, uh, the weapon is clear by the way. All the safety sallies out there who like to know I'm safe for God's sakes. Now you know. So first thing we're going to do, pull the trigger, trigger, trigger assembly. Pull that out like that. Flip the rifle over. Separate the stock from the upper. Set the stock aside. First thing we're going to want to do is remove this piece right here. It seems to be pretty loose as is, but uh, what that piece is right here is the stripper clip guide, stripper clip guide, uh, and there's a pin inside here. That little hole right here. Right, got the pin in it. Yeah, that hole. Uh, there's a pin in that that holds the stripper clip in place or the stripper clip guide in place. So they say the easiest way to get rid of that is uh, just go from this side. Grab yourself a little hammer and just tap it on out and it's that easy. Okay. Then this whole thing should pop out. Uh, we say it goes from right to left. Well, I guess that depends on what direction you're looking at the rifle now, doesn't it? Uh, but this just slid right on off. I'm just going to tap this pin back into there so I don't lose it. Set that aside. All right. Okay, now that we have the stripper clip guide removed from this location, now we're just going to set that aside and we're going to grab our scope mount and just set it in this rail. You can see that rail there there is a corresponding raised piece along the bottom of this scope mount that they fit together like so and you don't want this to uh, really ride up over you just want it to be flat like so and then we're going to take our cam washer and aim this notch at a roughly nine o'clock and we're going to take some Loctite and just hit it on our nut here. Run this guy in. And they say to leave just a little bit of a light gap. So you can see in between those two pieces that are mating. Just leave a little gap there. <clears throat> like that and uh, well this is at nine o'clock get that finger tight and then uh, get a, a three eighths inch wrench and then crank on that one eighth of a turn okay okay so now that this is all set up what we want to do next is take a little hammer uh, with a plastic plastic face on it here and what we're gonna do is just tap on this little cam what we're looking for is to close this gap uh, looks like we can go a little further still all right looks like I'm there Okay, so that's kind of what it should look like when we're all said and done. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is get this guide key prepared. We're going to uh, pull this nut out of it. 
And then you also have two Allen screws that we're going to yank out. Okay, so that's basically what it should look like here. You see that? It's going to slide in with the uh, dovetail side down. And you can see it doesn't quite fit. So what we want to do is tap on this some more to get it to ride up that face a little bit more. Check it again. There we go. So that slides right in there. And now what we're going to do is lock tight the first of the larger nuts, as well as the other two smaller screws. Just throw some on there to get it started. Okay, so with that in there, we're going to uh, turn this around a little bit for you. You can see there's a hole right in here. We're going to take our screw and run it in there. Try to find center. There we go. And they say to uh, hand tighten it, so it's finger tight, and then go a quarter turn past that place. Then we're going to take our set screws, run them in on either side. Okay guys, so what I ended up doing here uh, after the, I answered the phone call that I got <laughs> was uh, I did pull the center pin out, or the center uh, screw out, because it wasn't leaving me enough leeway left to right to get the uh, two littler uh, lockdown nuts or screws in there. So I pulled this out and then got the smaller two put in and then I centered this back up. And so now we're back in and we're just going to uh, finish tightening these guys up. We're actually screwing them in. Okay. And that's really, I think, for the most part, about it, other than uh, there are some torquing uh, things they recommend, as well as turning down, there's a, a nut in here that we will turn down as well. There's no way you're going to be able to see that in any kind of light, I don't think. Um, but right up inside underneath here, that's where that contacts the very top of the receiver right about here. And uh, this is just a lock for that. So what we do first, I believe, we'll lock this down just a little tighter. Make sure the guy is moving. And then we'll make sure this is Got lots of Loctite on it. And then we'll screw this guy down until we feel it contact. So we have contact, and then they say 
Once you have contact, give it just like 16th of a turn and then crank this guy down. So now the whole thing's locked into place. They recommend you're torquing the hex screw in here to 60 to 65 inch pounds. The two set screws on the outsides here are going to be torqued to 20 inch pounds. And then this uh, screw here is going to be 30 to 35. So I'll get those tightened up easy peasy, but that's really about it. The only trouble I had, like I said again, was uh, getting the uh, this dovetail piece in uh, so that I could get my Allen wrench in to fit these two screws fairly well. So got that together. Everything's locked together. Just going to go over everything one more time, lock it down. And that's, I think, about it. Uh, if you guys notice anything that I did wrong, let me know, obviously. Uh, first time at this. But there wasn't really any decent video on the internet. Not that this is a good one, but uh, on this topic. So thought I'd throw this out. Hopefully it helps somebody. And, uh, you know, we'll have to go out and shoot this. See how it stays zeroed. See what we think of it. So thanks for stopping by. Take it easy, YouTube.